Maurice. No, you don't understand. I'm here to rescue you. You're lying! I know the Galactic Federation wants to silence everyone who knows about our work here. How can I trust you when your troops are willing to kill each other? away from me. Listen to me. We're here to rescue you.
The woman believed that the Galactic Federation was sent to the bottle ship to keep those in the know from leaking information about the project. And no wonder. She had been attacked by someone wearing a Galactic Federation power suit, and she implied that Maurice was killed by another soldier. Considering the mortal danger we'd survived together, I had to agree with her. There was a traitor among us. Samus. The wavelength of that monster's cry is driving the other creatures into a frenzy. They've grown markedly more aggressive. It appears to be hiding in Sector 3 now. Take the elevator ahead of you to the main sector. From there, head to Sector 3. If you run into that thing, hit it with your plasma beam. With those creatures, crafted into killers, running free, the bottle ship had been turned into a nightmare replica of Zebus. And then here came Adam and the others. At this rate, the plan the Federation wanted to keep so secret would be revealed. So they sent in an assassin. Someone to wipe out any survivors as well as anyone who learned about the secret project. KG, James, Anthony, and Adam. Could one of them really be a traitor? Until I found out who it was, I decided to call the traitor, the Deleter. On top of everything, I started to think about that woman. Was she the one who sent the distress signal? And could she be the person in charge here, Madeline Bergman? Either way, I knew I had to protect her. She would be targeted again. And she wasn't the only one in danger. I, too, would be considered a threat here. <laughs>